As drones become more prolific, it becomes necessary to protect against them. The first step is simply to detect an unwanted drone flying in a given area, and then to determine if it is a threat or just a wayward toy. The Aerospace Corporation is looking at a variety of ways to do just that. Val and I started a research project about four years ago to use drones to collect a video and still imagery to develop uh, imagery and video processing algorithms. And in the last year or so, we've been working on the counter UAV project. Uh, currently, there are efforts in the corporation to look at the, the long distance detection, which would be radar. But once the UAVs get in close, you want to be able to see uh, what they're doing, where they might be flying. A team of researchers has found that they can use input from several standard video cameras to create a real-time 3D track of a drone flying by. I'm taking images from five different cameras positioned in the center of the field, uh, creating a pentagon, which is a closed volume. Uh, those cameras are doing motion detection and they feed detected motion back into a server where I take those five cameras, build those points, and pipe them into an algorithm that builds a, a usable 3D volume. And you can watch the drone fly in real time in 3D. Which enables them to determine the position, speed, and direction of the drone. The flight pattern may be enough to help them identify the type of drone and determine whether it is carrying something, such as a camera or explosives. For nighttime security, Aerospace has conducted tests to see how much data can be collected from infrared cameras. We have two different types of infrared cameras here. One of them, which is the thermal, and the other type we have is actually emissive technology, and it's a shortwave infrared camera. And it has a filter that actually cuts off visible light, so visible light isn't getting through. And with the sphere camera, it, it actually has kind of a capability to do low signal to noise or imaging and things like that. But it actually has some different aspects of the way you can pick up Different materials are brighter and darker. They have different reflectances. Another angle the team has investigated is audio sensors. They set up microphones to collect acoustic data to see if that could be used to identify drones flying by. In terms of acoustics, what we're trying to achieve is having an early detection system that doesn't have anything to do with photonic technologies. So if it's dark or foggy or whatever, I need something where I can identify uh, right away that there might be a drone in the area. So that's what this does. The first thing is it has an early warning. And the second component is, can I use it to identify like what type might be in the area or a uniqueness? More research and data analysis need to be done, but all these methods have the potential to help identify and provide security from unwanted drones.